I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. <laughs> all about wands, interactive wands to be precise and actually be more precise, 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 precise uh, one wand in particular. So if you'd like to see what I have to show you today then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. If you want to skip ahead to the revealing of this wand, then check out the chapters below. So today I am using, um, just poke myself up the nose for a minute, you know, as you do while you're filming. <laughs> so today I'm using the wand of choice is uh, last year's interactive wand. Now this wand was sent to me uh, last year and it is from the Wizarding World in Orlando, Florida. Now this wand, as I said, is an interactive wand, which means that it has a little kind of, uh, I don't know what you would call it, you know, remote controls, you know, the end of a remote control, you have like an infrared light that beams out. Not like the TV ones that you get from Noble Collection. When you go to Wizarding World Parks, not the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London, however, that would be so cool if you could do that. Um, these are interactive ones that you can use around the parks. Now, I will show you in more detail what exactly that means, but it basically means that you can perform spells. Now, this is a limited edition one. This one is a generic wand. This is George Weasley's wand. This is a generic wand that you can get in the Wizarding World in Florida. You can choose whichever wand you want to have, but this is the one I chose. Now back then I didn't know whose wand this is. I just liked the look of it. But you can go around the park and you perform spells and wherever you are in the Wizarding World in uh, whichever park it is, then things will happen. Some things are cool, some things are strange. This was the collector's edition wand from last year. It's sent in a beautiful, beautiful box that I actually, not sure 100% where it is. It's up there somewhere, but it's going to be a hell of a difficult task to get the box out. But these come with maps as well as the normal interactive ones. Now, this one is from the year before. This, as far as I'm aware, is from 2019. Now, from what I have read online, I have seen um, limited edition ones. The first one that I could find was 2017. Um, and it says that one was limited to a thousand ones. Now, I was told in 2000, I was told that the ones go back as far as 2016, but I can't find the pictures of a wand from 2016, so I'm not 100% sure whether that is true. The earliest I could go back to find the collector's edition is 2017. Now, the good news is, uh, back then, you could only get the ones if you went to the park. Hence the, the reason why I went crazy when Ra Raoul sent me this, because it wasn't available online. They weren't available online. But we have to look at some sort of positives from this awful pandemic because of the pandemic as far as i'm aware that's the reason they were then made available online so you can get last year's wand and i also have this year's wand from 2021 which became available about two weeks ago and it arrived about four days ago but i haven't been able to film it until today so i'm very excited So it says, comes with the whole fragile, fragile, fragile across the box, blah, 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 you know, which is great. That's what you want. So inside is packaging. I'm going to take the packaging off. And the box, hence the reason why I'm wearing green today, the box is green. So we have the invoice there. And then we have the Wizarding World Collector's Edition. So the Wizarding World Harry Potter Universal Studios Collector's Edition Wand 2021. So, I love the fact that the box is green. That is lush. 
Um, I have seen a few pictures of these, but I I haven't looked at it very closely. As soon as I found out it was available, I went on straight away and I got it. Yeah, I'm very nervous actually. They, I'm not happy with this one, and this was the 2019. Wasn't happy with that one. It looked and felt a bit cheap. But then this one arrived from Raoul, and it was stunning. And uh, and then straight away, as soon as I found out it was available, I ended up buying it. So the box is beautifully presented. You have a kind of gorgeous, like gold gilding around the edges, which is just stunning and then obviously you have the wizarding world in florida writing the harry potter writing there all in beautiful green now if it wasn't for the pandemic i don't think they would have made these ones available so i'm so grateful to the wizarding world and to warner brothers for actually making these available online even if you could have gone you wouldn't have been able to because of the pandemic so we've got all the details on the back there of where it's from, the licensing and so on. So that's obviously very, very important to have that for authenticity of the box. I love the box. The last couple have been uh, black boxes. So it's quite nice to have a kind of green. I do have a question though. If you know of the wand, if was there a wand from 2016, even if it was limited to a thousand pieces, please let me know in the comments section because I'd love to hear more. It's been quite difficult to find anything online. But so there we are, we've started to open the box. I'm so excited. Okay, you ready? You ready? Right, so that there is important. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Very carefully put the box down, I'm not throwing this so I'll tell you that now. So we've got silicon packaging, which keep, um, it, it's very important to keep because it stops things from tarnishing. So in here, I'll show you the wand in a bit. Oh my God, just seen a glimpse because it's all like fabric. I love it. Right, putting that down for a minute. So, okay, so I'm really excited. Uh, so these are the, this is the map from which you get the spells and where to cast them when you use your... Do you mind? <laughs> From where you get your details to perform spells across the park. So you get one of these maps with every single wand. So on one side you have Diagon Alley there and on the other side you have Hogsmeade. Uh, so here we have, right? So we've got, what are we gonna open? We're gonna open Hogsmeade. No, we're gonna open Diagon Alley, okay? So we're doing Diagon Alley first, all right? I think that's right. No, that's Hogsmeade. <laughs> this was one of my favorites. So this is more of an up-to-date version of the wand of the parks nowadays. Um, so here we have, we've got uh, Diagon Alley on this side and it shows you areas, numbers, and where to start doing spells. And then around the edge of the circle, it's quite hard to show you like this, around the edge of the circle then it shows you how to perform the spells. Now over here you have Nocturne Alley just there. And if you look under a UV black light, you will see secret things that come up on the map that you can't see normally. So if you're looking, if you're ever walking around the park, and you're looking at your wand and you're looking at what you can do. Everything looks normal and that's great. And then you go into Nocturne Alley and the map changes. This side just glows and you only see it if you go into Nocturne Alley, which is one of my favourite parts of the Wizarding World in Florida. I could have spent all day in there and it's so cold. Tell you what, when you go in, I'm so excited to tell you about this. <laughs> so you're in the really gorgeous tropical kind of look of Diagon Alley. And it's so hot uh, because it's Florida, it's so warm. The sky is blue unless they're having a rain shower and then it's like tsunami. Uh, but the sky is blue and it's beautiful. And then you go into Nocturne Alley, Alley. And, it's and it's instantly cold. It's so dark, dirty and dank. Just how you would expect Nocturne Alley to be, right? And you look up at the sky and it's nighttime and you can see the moon, you can see the clouds. It's like the whole thing has become this like, interactive experience just to walk down an alley. It is so outstanding. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's one of my favorite parts. 
And of course, Borgen and Berks is there, and it is an amazing shop. So anyway, so in um, in places like Diagon Alley, you can make it rain. You can make uh, things happen in windows. You can make things kind of explode. You even get to see a dragon blowing like 10 foot 30 or 10, 10 20 foot flames out of its mouth from Gringotts it is outstanding and then in Diagon Alley in Diagon Alley in Nocturne Alley you can make skeleton starts you can make talking heads talk it's so cool so then you go into you obviously go on platform nine and three quarters you go on the Hogwarts Express and it takes you to Hogsmeade and Hogwarts so you end up over here when you first enter and it's just beautiful there's the entrance just there and then you walk through, you can perform spells like um, chocolate frogs kind of making all these things, fountains move and so on in Honey Dukes. And then again, the spells are all around the edges and then you can go to Hogwarts Castle. And I think it's Escape from Hogwarts, isn't it? The ride. And it is just so amazing. I prefer, Esca is it Escape from Gringotts? No, Escape from Gringotts. What's the one in um, Hogwarts called? In Hogwarts Castle? Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, that's it. That ride is really good, but I prefer Escape from Gringotts. That is proper cool, that is a proper roller coaster. Right, so you can, it tells you where you can cast spells. And don't be disheartened like me, I found it really hard to do. I must be a squib, as sad as that sounds. But the interactors that walk around the park will come and help you perform spells and they have a special wand that lets you do it. It's so cool. So don't be disheartened if you struggle. So let's move on to the reason why you're all watching this video. It is the revealing, the revelio of the wand itself. So we have the beautiful black fabric, which is a bit, uh, bit creased in this one, but that's going to happen. It's not a bad thing at all, as long as the wand is complete. So we have the fabric that you would have in an Ollivander's wand. And let's reveal the wand itself, shall we? Oh my God. Oh my God. That is beautiful. Oh, oh my God. That is beautiful. So this is the 2021 celebratory edition wand. They, as far as I'm aware, these are not limited. They will run out eventually but they're not limited. As far as I'm aware, the 2020 wand is still available because I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure I saw it last week. Um, so if you haven't got the 2020, get the wand. This is beautiful. I've got to say this is my new favourite. So let's take a closer look. So as you can see, the gold gilding on this wand is just exquisite. Look at the leaf detail on the bottom here. And then we have almost like scroll detail and other patterns across there. And then this is almost like a crown on the top. Look at that. That is beautiful. And then we have this brown shaft I want to say I would have preferred it to be black I think but it's still I love all the patterns on here it's like the twists and so on it's almost like vines of a flower and then you have this which is, reminds me of like the fleur-de-lis uh, which is beautiful sign of the Freemasons isn't it the fleur-de-lis uh, which obviously wouldn't be in the wand de uh, design but it does remind me of that um, and then we have this like leaf detail down here which is so pretty, it's so intricate and so delicate. And I love up here, you have like this, this almost like, um, it's almost like a chain pattern in a way on the top of the wand there. That is so pretty. And then as I said, the crown detail on the top of the wand. That is so, it's so grand. It's such a grand looking wand. It's so beautiful. The all important mark on the wand is there. 
to show that it is a Warner Brothers officially licensed wand. That is what you're looking for when it when you look out for fakes. If it hasn't got a stamp on it like that, you don't buy it. Look at that. Now, what you are probably thinking and wondering is does the Wizarding World in Orlando ship worldwide? Yes, they do. That's why I have one of these. It's not cheap. The shipping for this was about £40. Or $40. So it is expensive to get it shipped. However, that covers everything. And this arrived so fast as well. But they do ship worldwide. And I think that is down to the pandemic. There's also a lot of things on that website. I will put all the links down below. Don't you worry. They'll all be down below for you. Wizarding World Gold members do not get discount on this shop, I'm afraid to say. The amount of items you can get on that website, including the 2020 and the 2021 Interactive Collector's Edition ones, it is amazing. They even do some of the Weasley Wizard Weez products. Um, I have myself bought some of the items from there. They even do the props, like the Hogshead Jug. Um, I think they do Archie the Architect as well, the Architect of Hogwarts. I'm looking over at my stand now to see what else I can mention. They do things like the Screaming Yo-Yo, they do the big um, Weasley hand, the big giant Weasley hand. They do so much on that website, you have got to check it out. They even do costumes and the costumes are to die for. So I do highly recommend getting these ones. They are so incredibly beautiful. This is now my favourite out of the sets. The only thing I have to say about it is I prefer this part to be black. Maybe it's because they haven't done a brown version yet of the wand. I haven't seen a brown version. Um, I could be wrong, but I think I would have preferred it in black myself. But this is absolutely beautiful. It's so light because it's an interactive wand. It's very light. And again, the all important infrared part at the top there as well. What did you think of this interactive wand? Are you going to be getting one? I'd love to know in the comments below if you are. Because this is just, it's outstanding. It is absolutely outstanding. So, so, so beautiful. Um, I love it. I love the box so much. I love the fact that it's green, um, touching on my inner, inner Slytherin, hence the reason why I'm also wearing, oh, these are available as well on the website, uh, Slughorn's Hourglass Necklace. And don't forget there is a Slughorn Hourglass key ring and pin badge as well, all available on the Wizarding World website. So until next time, take care. I love you all and I will speak to you very soon. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe